welcome to the show. I'm so excited to be here today. This is this is going to be an amazing show. Well, yeah, it is. I just I said it so it is. So a couple um, a couple let's get started notes, things I love to do before I actually start to take callers. Um, by the way, um, if you are listening on any of the podcasts um, or watching on any of the TV stations, you can join us live every Monday and Wednesday at noon. Yep, every Monday and Wednesday at noon um, uh, by calling in 845-277-9131. You can do that right now, as a matter of fact, if you're listening right now. Or um, you can join us on YouTube Live. There's a great chat section. People, you know, say hi. We have a little conversation going on over there. And um, that's announcement number one. Announcement number two, I am... <laughs> I am officially making TikTok videos with my face in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So on TikTok right now, I'm doing clearing. So if you want more clearings, I've done a clearing for trauma, for abuse. This morning, I put up clearings for stress and worry and oh, clearing negativity from you, your family, and your workplace. If that one doesn't get a million views, I don't know what's going to. <laughs> My um, TikTok thing is at Psychic Tony. Uh, so if you're on TikTok, join me there. I'm going to be doing a lot of clearings uh, with TikTok, uh, reading some of my book, poetry, channeling things. How come I can't say that appropriately? How come I can't say a lot of things appropriately? I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you got it. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I'll share them to Instagram and um, Truth and a couple of other places once I have done them. <clears throat> LinkedIn. Um, hey, Caroline. Hey, Heather. Hey, Sal. Um, so yes, that's announcement number two, TikTok, uh, clearings. And, oh, I'll also be doing like a random, like if loved ones come in and say hi for people, I'm going to be giving those shout outs also on TikTok. People want to know if I, re if I will read tarot cards on TikTok. No, let me do you that favor. No, I have a ton of tarot cards, but, but, but. I don't know how to read them. Like I see the strength card with the lion and the um and the woman and I'm like, "Oh, don't go so don't go on safari. You're going to get eaten if you go on safari." Then I see the, <laughs> the the card with the 10 swords in the back. I'm like, "Oh, somebody just gave you an arsenal of weapons you can use." <laughs> Somebody just gave you 10 swords you can pull up out your back and whip right back at them. I, don't, I am not a tarot reader. I am not. I am not. I see the devil card. And in this one deck, the, the devil is this really hot guy. This really hot looking guy. I'm like, oh, here's my future husband, the devil that looks like an angel. So yeah, you don't want me reading tarot cards for you. It doesn't even matter if they have angels on them and they're nice. I'm like joking with them all day long. It's crazy. Okay, enough about that. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so I'm doing a a two little new things at the beginning of every show. So first, before I forget, hey, Stevie, I love you. Um Let's go get some lunch this week, Stephen. Maybe tacos. Let's go get some tacos this week, Stevie. Okay. Uh, my brother doesn't care about tacos. He'll eat anything. He just knows if we go get tacos, he gets margaritas or he gets Corona. I got you, Stevie. I got you. <laughs> so... Um, Okay, here's my what we need to know that's going on right now. 
What we need to know right now is, well, it's a little different than I normally do for my what we need to know. Typically, I come in and I say, you know, this is what's going on and we really need to do. I just want to put this out here one more time. One more time. Spirit is really coming through me in the music. Um, fingerprint voting. We're coming up on our primaries in November. Fingerprint voting. This is going to do a lot of things for us, folks. Now, don't tell me, oh, don't use my fingerprint. Well, we use our fingerprint for everything else, to open our computers, our phones, our tablets. If we want to be get jobs, certain jobs, we have to use our fingerprints. Fingerprint voting. This is going to solve a lot of the problems with voting. Okay, having said that, the next thing I want to talk about is, oh, side hustle of the week. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> side hustle of the week. <laughs> there, there's a website called Feet Finder. Yep, you heard me, folks. Feet Finder. And I would show you my feet right now to emphasize the foot part of it, but I have to get my toes done this week, so they're not looking on top. I'm going to tell you something. I might do this side hustle. I might do Feet Finder. People are getting paid up to $500 per picture of their feet. No, you know what? No, I don't care what they do with the picture. I don't. You can blow your nose in that picture. You can use it to get, get whatever you want to do with that picture. It's my feet. I don't care what you do with it. Mm hmm. Come find me on Feet Finder. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I might. <laughs> I have to get somebody to take pictures of my feet. <laughs> Wait. On Feet Finder. Do you have to do something weird with your feet? I can't even say this. I hope y'all are cracking up the way I am. No, but I'm serious. If it's just like, hey, if you just want a straight up picture of my feet, you got it. Do you want me to put chocolate on them? Maybe. I'll consider that. You want them in heels? Every day, all day long. I love heels. I will wear heels in my foot pictures. Yep. You want stacked stripper heels? Oh, no problem. Send me the shoes. I will take pictures in them. <laughs> you want special little ornaments on my toes? Again, send them to me. I will take pictures with them. Times are hard. Gas is high. Folks, take pictures of your feet and send them in. <laughs> A little whipped cream on that chocolate? No problem. Mama needs to fill her gas tank. <laughs> and I drive a Prius. No, not because I thought it was a cool car. <laughs> because gas prices are high. <laughs> but the Prius? Amazingly comfortable, I will say. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys are, are laughing and becoming informed and taking pictures of your feet so you can send them in now. <laughs> hey, Patrick, happy Monday. <laughs> Patrick, will you be taking pictures of your feet, Sal? Uh, speak up, folks. Will you be taking pictures of your feet and sending them in on Feet Finder? <laughs> I need to know, I need to know, I need to know, I need to know. If it's something, 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 just say so. I don't care. Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to try to sing the, that song because I don't even know all the words. There is another um, photo opportunity, but I'm not even going to say that one. See, I see how I keep my, my show clean and classy. <laughs> because the other one is a part of the body that is just nobody talks about. Nobody. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. 
Okay, so that's my side hustle of the week. My relationship thing of the week. Let's see. This one, I was going back and forth all morning on what to talk about for my relationship tip or situation of the week. And here, I'm, I'm going to just let um, spirit come in and give this relationship uh, tip or statement um, of the week. Now, relationships are really, they can be very, very challenging, extremely challenging. And when you're starting a relationship, oh, I know where we're going. I know what we're saying. <laughs> okay. When you're starting a relationship, it's really important that you don't confuse love and lust. Okay, now some people, when the relationship first starts, there's this chemistry, they're like crazy, crazy, crazy chemistry. Now, this can be a couple of things. This can be a past life thing. This can be a current life thing. This can be um, somebody who was brought in and you guys are supposed to uh, be together because you're supposed to help each other heal. Do not mistake your feelings of lust for feelings of love. Now, if I, 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 and I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining this because I think most people will understand this, but how do you differentiate between what is lust and what is love? Because we've all heard of that love at first sight, like, oh, I met this person and I just instantly fell in love with them. I knew from the first moment that does happen. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But if it has more to do with, and as the relationship goes on, if it has more to do with um, the physical attraction to this person and not their character or the content of their character, who they are as a person, it's lust. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm going to start taking callers. When I call your area... Code, please have a specific question and or connection to the other side. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, happy to do that. <clears throat> please. I need their first name and their relationship to you. And any conversation or question you would have had with them. Hey, and I know the person that this is for is going to know this. They're in my YouTube chat right now. Um, and uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bike. So you know instantly who you are, a cyclist. And um, they're saying, um, it's it's Chris, Christopher, 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 Christopher. And hi, all is good. Um, and then they're singing this song, carry on a wayward song. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest and don't you cry no more. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I would be able to get all the words to that part of the song, but I think the person that that's meant for, you know exactly who you are. I know who that's meant for. I love that song for you. It's a the perfect song, especially that verse, there'll be peace when you are gone. So this person wants to just confirm for you again, they are at peace. And... um Oh my gosh. And then um, a woman is standing next to this person who has olive skin, dark hair, very thin, very tall, um, and saying um, it's complete. The transition is complete. Everything is good. It's time. It's time to um, like move forward. It's time. It's time. Okay, so I hope that that message was helpful. I hope it, it it brings some kind of answers and peaceful. Okay, now back to taking live callers. Um, please, um, who, ha, who, uh, have an exact question or connection available. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Seven eight zero. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Jake calling from Canada. Hey, 
Jay, how are you? Pretty good. Excellent. How about yourself? Oh, good. Everything's amazing. How can I help you today, Jay? <laughs> My question is that uh, it's kind of like trying to figure out who actually sent me the message. And I'm going to explain it real quick. Is that I'm making a project right now. And I got the, some of the parts in. And there's this one part. Uh, it fits exactly on the chassis. Like it, the bolts. Like the... <laughs> I don't know how this is the probability of this, but you know when you have mounting bolts or mounting holes for a um, an item and it fits exactly where it's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Well, this item fits exactly where it's supposed to be. I'm going like, how is this a possibility? Like, who told me this? Was it my mom or somebody else? Because I'm being pushed to do this project real quick. I just, that's the goal right now. I don't know why, but it's just, you know, I don't know who it, who it could be. It could be my mom, it could be my yeah, best friend, actually, it could be somebody else. That I... No, actually, it's mom. And I'm going to tell you, when you started um, talking about this, when you started saying it, uh, like, who sent me this message? I instantly heard mom, but then you said you wanted to explain it. So, um, and I, I wanted to give you that opportunity and time to explain it. So it's mom, um, and I hear div divine intervention, and I'm hearing never second guess, never second guess uh, your initial, like your initial like thought, if that makes sense to you. I hope that makes sense to you, Jay. And I'm hearing um, there's there's relief coming. There's relief coming. Um. So pay attention because something that's coming in in the next month is going to give you relief or be relief for a situation that's been going on. So that is the next thing that they would, she would, and they would want you to know. So please know that and know that that is coming to you um, soon. Okay. Okay, Jay. <clears throat> I hope I really yeah, that, hope that was that helpful. Works. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for confirmation. That's all the questions I have, Tony. So, uh, yeah, have a blessed day, and uh, uh, thank you. So, I'm grateful for your uh, for your support as usual and in confirmations over the over the years. You know, so but I like the <laughs> the first part of your uh, segment today. It was, uh, it was lots of fun. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. I th thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm going to do a clearing right now, Jay. I'm going to um, start clearing. Um, so I did some clearings on TikTok this morning, but let's do it. Let's do a, um, let's do a uh, money is coming to me now clearing. So money is coming to us now. I get a no. Let's clear that. Um I'm going to do a clearing and I'm I'm not going to completely announce what it is, but um, we, uh, we stay free. Oh, that hits me right here and here, here and here. Okay. We stay free. We are going to stay free. There, there's something that's compromising our freedoms. Let's clear that. Now, those of you who know, you know, those of you who don't, well, you will. Okay, Doki, I want to say, hey, Amy, how are you? Hey, um, Kavita, how are you? Hi, Sal. Who? Who? What? Who? Sal, I don't understand the who. Please explain that. I'm going to go, while you explain that, I'm going to go to the next caller, 203. 203, how can I help you today? Hello, Tony. It's Pat. How are you? Hey, Pat. I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I'm pretty good. I think I'm getting better. Thank you. I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, I've been trying. I've been working on this for months and months and months and months. Do you see the source of my tiredness, um, weakness, and even dopiness um, as soon as I fall asleep so early at night? I can't get myself back up. Yeah, um, um, I fall asleep way too early. And oh, I'm seeing a couple of different things, Pat. Um, one of them is, um, 
Yeah, I I see this. Um, it's the air you're breathing in. And I'm going okay. to try to say this in a way that is not too descript, but I think that you'll get it. There's the air you're breathing in is in some way, and I know what way, but I'm I'm not going to say it right now. Um, is is um, either uh, I want they're using the word polluted or um, contaminated. So um, if you can get a air filter for your personal space. Please get an air purifier. Okay. An air purifier will he help. Told me that, he told me that weeks ago. Maybe I need to, and I, I turned it on. I do have one. Thank you for saying that. And uh, maybe I need to turn it up higher. Actually, I meant to clean the filter. But I have been using that. And you also had me burn pine, which is interesting. Yeah. So it's still not working, huh? The, well, if you're there, there's a couple different reasons um, we can be falling asleep a great deal. Number one is our emotional state, and number two, our physical yeah. state. And with our physical state, it can be our actual body physical state or our the state the physical state of the environment that we live in i'm getting that yours okay. is more the environment i'm getting there's a lot of um dander and th this is something you don't have control over this is not your personal pets um but you need to get the air cleared because what's coming in through your vents is what is causing this what's coming in through through the um walls and the vents is what is causing this so if they say air, air purifier trust me you need to purify your air um and i do okay. feel like that is going to be be what's what's going to help you a great deal okay love yeah, I'll talk to you more when I have the reading. And also, could you do a clearing for entity attachments or ancestral uh, curses? I don't know if that's the right word, but if you have time to do that. Yeah, let's let's take care of both of those right now. So I'm going to say them. Thank you for bringing that up. So for anybody listening, re-listening, uh, watching, re-watching, oh, uh, we're going to clear first um, all. Um, so let's clear first any and all entity attachments in any form. We're going to clear that now. Oh. And you guys, this is at like the 23 minute mark of the show. So if you want to just come back and clear this, I recommend you do it once a day. And if you're feeling this, please let me know. Um, you can comment in the comment section or in the chat section. If you're re-listening to the show live or re-listening to the show on YouTube, please comment if you're feeling this. The next one you said is ancestral curses. So I'm going to say all magic curses, sexist voodoo spells, witchcraft, brouhaha, or anything of the sort has been cleared from anyone listening and their ancestral line i get a no so let's clear that and these are really heavy duty clearings and that's at about the 24 minute mark of the show so come back to that 23 and 24 oh, minute mark of the show once this is cleared out it's cleared it's gone the ancestral one um the um the um Entity one, you might need to do a couple of times. 
Um, but do it until you don't feel it affecting you. Listen to it once a day until you don't feel it affect you, okay? Thank you for bringing that up. I'm really grateful that you did. I'm really happy that um, I was able to do that for everybody listening. I think that's amazing, and I'm happy that we shared that with everybody. Thank you, Pat. Pat, when you're ready to schedule, just give me a call, and we'll get you scheduled, okay, love? Okay, I bought two readings. I'm saving up for my third. Everybody get a reading from Tony. <laughs> I love you, Pat. Thank you so much. I love you. Okay. Thank uh, you for all your blessings. Absolutely. My pleasure. Absolutely. I'm going to be doing more clearings throughout the show, so please um, uh, hold on for those 415. 415, <clears throat> what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Kate. Hey, I really please? felt that one. How you felt that one? Thank you for letting me know. That is awesome. Ooh, I my love chest, my, my chest and my lungs. Right. Oh my reason. god. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else who felt <laughs> it, like, give me a heads up. Let me know if you are watching yeah. on YouTube yeah. and you are feeling this. Like, let me know because I know what I feel. Right. I know it's working because of what I feel. I don't always know what everybody else is going to feel. So thank you for telling me that, Kate. Kate, how can I help you? Um, I've been thinking of my friend Paul all, all morning, and I think he's been waiting for me to call you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He is just like usually people come in on the right. He's coming in kind of um, a little bit. He's coming in. Um, if you're watching, you you see where I'm pointing. He's coming in over. T typically, people are right here for me. He's coming in through this area right here, which is on my left side, but not way left, just kind of in front of me left. And the first thing he wants to say is um, the the first thing he's he's giving me more. Um, <sighs> okay, let's get to the message first. I'll tell her about that second. Just give me the message for, please give me the message. I'm so bossy. Just give me the message first. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I, I am not even that bossy of a person in real life. I get like run over all the time because I can't like say things affirm, affirmingly. I don't think that's a, well, whatever. Let's get to the message. Um, right. So the message that he wants to get you, what what he wants you to know, what you need to know right now, and this is a little bit important, is keep it clean, keep it clean, keep keep it clean. And then he's saying, um, push, push forward or move forward. Now, when they say keep it clean, this can mean a number of different things. This can be something with your money, your work environment, and or and I think this is it, to be perfectly honest, your food, because he's showing up looking like a farmer. Whether he was a farmer or not in real life, this is what he's showing up looking like. That's why I had to get the message first, because if I just would have come through and said, he's kind of looking oh, like a farmer, a farm. you would have been like, I don't <laughs> think my grandpa farmed, but keep it clean. Oh my gosh. Thank you, grandpa. Thank you, Kate. Because the other message I wanted to remind everybody of today, listen, folks, Kate, please. And we interrupt this message for a message. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Moses and Mary, let's do this. Um, and the message is, if you have not started your gardening, start your gardening. Okay, I love each and every one of you until Wednesday. Have an amazing rest of the week.